Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm like really excited about this video. Of course, it's a brand new year. Well, actually, we're, we're pretty much through January of 2023. I'm going in a totally different direction this year and I really want to succeed and I'm excited about it. I know that from my no buy video, a lot of you guys are excited about it too. So I'm going to give you a few steps on decluttering your life, where to start, what to do. Please don't think that you have to do all of this at once. You can write it down. I'll I'll put a list down below. You can copy and paste it onto your phone and keep it there in your notes section and just look through it every now and again or put one aside for each month or something. Like, don't think you have to do it straight away, but when you do do these things, you'll be feeling amazing. Okay, so number one, clear out your social feeds. So this involves Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, like anything where you scroll and you come across people that you follow. I personally haven't had Facebook in a long time, I think maybe four years. <laughs> I just like stopped going on it and then I just never went back on it. And then I, I eventually deactivated my account a few months later, but I haven't been on it in years. It's one of those things where it's just like, I don't even know because I haven't been on it in so long, but the, how I perceive it is in like, do I really care what someone from my school was up to that I didn't talk to at school, but I follow on social media is up to and like what their kid is doing? Probably not. Like if I don't talk to them, if I didn't talk to them in school, like why do I care? <laughs> the other thing is if you don't want to get rid of Facebook, just cull your list to the people that you talk to, the people that you want to keep in touch with, the people that you want to see on your feed and what they've been up to. How some of you guys might be total snoops and want to keep everyone on and that's fine but I can encourage you to declutter Facebook. The other thing about decluttering Instagram is unfollow people that don't necessarily make you feel positive, that don't make you feel good because sometimes you can look at someone's picture and it can just like spark something inside of you or trigger something and you don't want that. Like social media should be like a fun positive thing unless someone's like bringing something to the table that's gonna make you feel good or inspire you in some kind of positive way. See ya. The other thing is, um, if you don't wanna unfollow people, mute them. Especially if, you know, something about them is like triggering you for whatever reason, um, and you don't want to hit that unfollow, you can go and mute them. This one is so obvious and it's one that I'm working towards, but decluttering your wardrobe. I'm someone I really like collect clothes. <laughs> I'd hate to get rid of clothes, especially if I really like how something looks on me. And if I've put on weight or lost weight, like I, I find a really hard time to like let go of that. A year or two years, it needs to go. And I need to follow that rule, but I'm like, oh, I'll wear it someday. This is what I mean. Like if you're not ready for this, don't do it yet. How I am approaching this is I'm doing it in layers. Every couple of weeks, I'll go in and get rid of a couple of things. And then I'll go in again and get rid of a couple of things. Um, just the other day, I actually went through my wardrobe and took out one garbage bag full of things. I didn't go through the whole wardrobe. I just went through my drawers. Just baby steps if you need to. And whether you donate them or you sell them on like Marketplace or Depop or Poshmark or eBay or give them to a friend. I know I don't need all the clothes that I have so I'm assuming a lot of you might be in the same place. Okay, this one is something that I thought of a few months ago when I saw a TikTok and it is to delete your old phone contacts. How many of you guys I don't, I don't ever like scroll through my contacts until like after I saw this video and I scroll through my contacts and I'm like, I don't know who you are. I don't know who you are. I don't know who you, I don't remember anything about you. And these people, like I had to like really think about to remember who they were, delete them. You don't need your boss from 10 jobs ago's phone number in your phone. You don't need, you know, an ex friend that you no longer talk to. You don't need them in your phone. So go through your phone, delete your old contacts, simplify that up. <laughs> I was always like, oh, what if they might call? Or what if, you know, you get a random message and it's just like, they ain't gonna call, hun. <laughs> okay, so this is something that Dean and I have been doing for a few years now. We use an app called Cozy and it has a shopping list and a joint calendar. And when one updates, then you can see the other person. And it is so amazing. If you haven't got it, 
definitely get onto it. It's so great because you don't have to have like a written shopping list that you have to draw in the fridge or something. You can just write it in your phone when you're on the go, when you think of something. It's so good. Um, and also whenever we have an event or an appointment or something, we put it in the joint calendar and so you know that it's there. This reduces obviously physical clutter if you have to have like a calendar or a shopping list, but it also keeps everything all in one place. So you're not going to forget anything either. Okay, so this one is something that I've taken on this year meal planning I previously didn't do it and I'm so glad that I started doing it because I write a meal plan list for like two weeks and I just write it out like Monday Tuesday Wednesday Thursday Friday Saturday Sunday and I just write what we're having and then we usually stick to it how I came up with the meal ideas is Dean and I just sat down and we wrote I think 30 or 40 meal ideas and we just pick a few from there and I just put it in random and I try and space them out with like chicken and meat chicken and beef kind of thing then it makes shopping easier and you're not buying unnecessary things because you don't know what you're gonna have for dinner and it has really helped to just streamline that process of what's for dinner because honestly no one wants to decide what's for dinner like it's not a fun thing and it has also been a lot better because we just jump in and cook it and it's so much easier and it's just it has really really helped this year not only like it's like stop eating takeout but like just be more organized you know not worry about it it's been amazing okay this one is obvious as well but go through your cupboards and get rid of things you don't use I need to do this so bad <laughs> I have a cupboard of like gift wrapping things and there's this like little compartment, big compartment of like gift wrapping boxes that I kept from when I used to get a lot of makeup PR and they're, they've been there for years, like three years and I haven't used them. Like I need to get rid of them. <laughs> and there's a lot of other stuff. I did start going through it and just donate it or sell it, get rid of it if you're not going to use it or, you know, gift it on if you're going to have it in your cupboard. You just need to get it out of there because there's so much stuff in my cupboard that I know that I have had in there for years and it's taking up room and I don't need it. What I can suggest that I need to do as well, take everything out and then put it back in and try and put back in less. Yeah. I'll get, I'll get there one day. <laughs> okay, decluttering your makeup and beauty products. This one, I just did my bathroom a few weeks ago and I remember I did it like, oh, I think it was when I was pregnant with Daisy and I just went through and like took out stuff and a few years ago and then this time I went in, I'm like, I kept some things like, oh, I'll use that. And there was so much that I kept that I haven't used. And I'm like, it's gone, it's gone, it's gone. And it made me realize like, I have like a lot of backups as well, because sometimes you don't look in the depths of your cupboards to figure out what you have backups of. And so you just buy more, but it was good to like, take a kind of stock, a mental stock take of what I have. So I need to buy less of certain things, but also you don't need that um, hair treatment that you've been holding on to for five years. That's like, you're not going to use it. Throw out expired sunscreen. And then there's makeup as well. My background is I used to make a lot of makeup related videos and I have a lot of makeup opened and I know that there would be a lot of it past its expiry day, but I do keep it in like a, you know, in a drawer that doesn't get hot or anything like that. Um, if anything's funky, just throw it out. I went through some lipsticks just the other day and they were kind of funky. So I threw them out. If you've used something a few times and you don't like it and you're like, keep pushing it to the side, oh, I'll use it one day, just get rid of it because you're not gonna use it. Just declutter, make your collection smaller and you will feel less overwhelmed about doing your makeup as well if you have less products. When I think about cleaning out like my, under the sink in the, in the bathroom, I think of that Jenna Marbles video where she was talking about being a goo hoarder and it just makes me think like, oh my God, I'm a goo hoarder. Like I hoard so much goo. <laughs> Here's one that I've started to do as well unsubscribe from email mailing lists. I do this, especially when I see a new random one pop up and people, I don't know how, like people just sell your email address or whatever. Um, I'll just unsubscribe from that straight away, which is fine. But there are some where you get new emails every single day and that is so unnecessary. You can either unsubscribe or make it so you only get like one a week or one a month. You don't need to be notified of a sale that they're doing every week because 
yeah, you just don't need it. Okay, so along with like decluttering your wardrobe and your like linen cupboard or cupboards, declutter your pantry. I guarantee there's some old stuff in there, <laughs> unless you've done it really recently. You, I need to be more on top of this and do it every couple of months. I'm really slack when it comes to doing it, but just an idea if you haven't already thought of it, declutter your pantry. Again, like anything, if you you know, you pick up things, you're like, oh, I'll use that one day. If it's still sitting in the pantry, get rid of it. Like, you're not going to use it. This is where meal planning comes in so handy because you don't, you just buy what you need for that meal. The other thing is, like, I usually have, like, you know, you stock standard meals. And if you see something else special for that meal, then you just buy it as a backup. We're creatures of habit. We usually just stick to cooking the same things anyway. And then off of the back of that, do, like, a laundry, like, cleaning product declutter as well because I bet that there's some cleaning products that you have in your cupboard that you don't use um, or that don't work how you thought that they would so get rid of those as well try and you know streamline your cleaning process and make it easier by and less confusing by having less products okay go through your kids clothes declutter throw out what doesn't fit them or donate it whatever so with Daisy's clothes I actually <laughs> I know I actually just box them all up and put them away. When she was really young, I actually sold them or donated them, like kept what I wanted to, but I haven't done that for like, probably since she was like, you know, nine months maybe. So I really need to go through her boxes of clothes that I've got and just get rid of the things that I don't actually want to keep. It's so hard when you've got one kid and you plan to have more children and you're like, oh, I'll just keep all the clothes. But I bet I'll, it'll come to that time where I will probably not want like 70% of those things. Keep things that obviously someone else can wear again um, or donate them or sell them if you didn't like them. The other thing is they take up so much room. <laughs> Like we've got so many boxes in the garage of Daisy's clothes, which I'm sure I can consolidate into less boxes. Okay, and the last one that has helped me is to write like a to-do list so whether that be like on a notebook like this what i've got now and you just write in it like for the week this is what i want to do or um i actually have a little notepad from inventory as well i'll link them down below and that's a really good one like it has your daily goals like the date and how much water you need to drink and your to-do list at home and things like that that one's really good as well but i kind of tend to write a list for like the week and then work through them which makes it easier like i mean obviously you can make this a digital list in your notes file in on your phone i personally like to write it down and then tick it off i just find like a lot of enjoyment out of that so whether you write jobs to do around the house or you know you've got to return something or you've got to get a present for someone it really helps to just know what you've got and then just to put it somewhere where you can look at it and just be aware of the things that you need to do. I find that way they can stay on the top of my mind and then I will get them done. Yeah, I didn't actually do one this past week and I can tell I totally procrastinated. So I need to get back on to doing them for next week. But to-do lists are amazing. Okay, so that is my take on decluttering your life at the start of 2023. Hopefully it's giving you some kind of inspiration to just make your life a little bit more simple. I'm all about trying to make my life more simple this year and consume less and get rid of stuff out of my home like I just I think I'm off to a good start of course it's going to be a rocky road <laughs> I'm I'm doing a lot better and I'm really proud of myself so yeah Anyway, leave your best tips down below on um, decluttering or, you know, moving on from things. And yeah, we can all help each other out. And yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.